Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you are sleeping. While enjoying all the benefits science has brought to us, we overlook the atrocities of mad, inhumane scientists. Watch the video till the end as we dive deeper into the most monstrous and blood-curdling experiments performed by scientists in the history of mankind. The Kellogg's Experiment In 1931, Winthrop Niles Kellogg and his wife traumatized their own son by dragging him into an eccentric experiment to determine the effect of the environment on the development of chimpanzees and the possibility of humanizing them. The pair adopted a seven-month-old female chimp and raised her alongside their son, Donald. They named the chimp Gua and raised both infants similarly. Look at them wearing diapers. The experiment also included wheeling both kids together in a carriage, sitting in a high chair, sleeping in a bed, and kissing goodnight. As the experiment progressed, Donald started copying Gua instead of the other way around. Gradually, he was becoming a feral child. This prompted the termination of the experiment and sent Gua to another experimentation facility, who died after separating from Donald, the human baby, while Donald also struggled his whole life. Burke and Hare's Experiment This story of a mad scientist here will blow your mind. Robert Knox wanted corpses so that he could study them for dissection. The only problem was that according to Scottish law, corpses used for medical research should only come from prison, suicide victims, or from orphanages. There was a severe shortage of corpses at that time, which led the scientists to resort to body snatchers. Yeah, your usual buddies who steal bodies from the graves. Here came Burke and Hare, who sold the body of their lodger to the mad scientist and received a heavy sum in return. They then allegedly sent 16 people to heaven over a period of about 10 months in 1828, after which all the bodies were sold to Robert Knox. The culprits were later arrested and hanged for their actions. Surgical Experiments on Slaves The father of modern gynecology also had his hands dirty. J. Marion Sims exploited the slave women by carrying out a number of invasive surgical procedures on them. They were subjugated to these painful surgeries without administering any anesthesia. They couldn't even consent to all this as they were considered a property. He caused untold suffering by operating under the racist notion that black people do not feel pain. Due to this, many women used to pass away during childbirth. It will not be far-fetched to say that modern medicine was built on the sufferings of slaves. Radioactive Vitamin Pills The evil researchers at the Vanderbilt University did something so horrifying that it will churn up your stomach. These men of the devil gave radioactive pills to 751 pregnant women who were seeking free care at a prenatal clinic run by Vanderbilt University in the 1940s during the Cold War. They gave these pills by duping them, saying they were only vitamin pills. The pills exposed the women and their fetuses to radiation 30 times higher than the radiation that comes from an X-ray. Some children suffered from different anomalies, and some even passed away. According to the researchers, it was done to study iron absorption in pregnant women. No wonder people are afraid to get vaccinated. Little Albert Experiment Just like the chimp and child experiment, this one was also done to traumatize a child for life. A pair of scientists, Watson and Rayner, encountered a nine-month-old baby boy named Little Albert, who was a remarkably fearless child, scared only by loud noises. Yeah, they instilled fear in the child, practically traumatizing him. First, he was shown a white rat, a rabbit, and a monkey to which he reacted normally. But a loud bang of a hammer struck against a steel bar made him burst into tears. Then the white rat was brought back with the hammer clang and Albert cried again. And for the first time when Albert saw the rat, for the last time without any loud sound, he again started crying. So that's how they instill a lifelong fear into a happy boy. Project MK Ultra. 
The CIA broke all the limits of basic human dignity by conducting Project MK Ultra during the Cold War, which contained several illegal human experiments, including brainwashing and mind control. The experiments were about the development of procedures and substances, which could be used in interrogations to weaken individuals and force confessions through brainwashing and psychological torture. 150 human experiments were conducted using psychedelic drugs, paralytics, and electroshock therapy. It was carried out in psychiatric and prison facilities, and many didn't even know that they were participating in a mind voodoo study. I always knew there was something fishy about these guys. Guatemalan STD Study Imagine being so vicious that you infect healthy people with infectious diseases. This is what happened in the Guatemalan STD study, where healthy groups of people were infected with various STDs, including gonorrhea, syphilis, etc. Most subjects were orphans or prisoners who didn't give their informed consent. The horrific experimentation resulted badly, as hundreds of patients passed away due to infections. They were even duped in the name of medicines, as mostly they were given placebo pills because they wanted to see the signs of illnesses at a later stage. In simple terms, they wanted the patients to suffer. The Monster Study The Monster Study was also another brutal scientific experiment carried out on children that points toward the dark chapter of history. This was a stuttering experiment in which 22 orphan children were taken to Davenport, Iowa in 1939. They were divided into two groups. The first half received positive speech therapy with praises for the fluency of their speech, while the others received extreme negative criticism and belittlement of their speech imperfections. And this is me saying these things mildly as these children were basically mentally tortured to an extent that they retain speech problems for the rest of their lives. Some of them even refused to speak anymore as they were afraid that they would be punished for speech impairments. And now let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by a subscriber. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. Today's subscriber pick is a footage that was leaked from a Russian psychiatric facility some years back. A mentally disabled person can be seen sitting in a room. It appears as if the place is deserted, as the patient had a disheveled appearance. Many people speculated that the patient had been subjugated to an evil experiment that left him insane. This gave rise to the Russian sleep experiment, which is a creepy pasta about five test subjects who were exposed to an experimental sleep-inhibiting stimulant and became an urban legend. You can read it over the internet, and it's worth a read. Milgram Experiments Your teachers could have been bad, but not worse than what happened with the subjects of Milgram Experiments. A psychologist named Stanley Milgram started a series of experiments in which he took obedience testing to a whole new level, and the results were literally and figuratively shocking. Each participant had to take the role of a teacher who would then deliver a shock to the student if he gave an incorrect answer. In reality, the student wasn't shocked, but was just pretending to be shocked by making fake noises and pleading to be released. The experiment instructor would then advise the teacher to further shock the student for this behavior as a form of punishment. And honestly, most of the time they used to comply by shocking them further to 450 volts. Unit 731 Unit 731 was one of the Japanese concentration camps during World War II that was famous for its horror tales. Let me give you a sneak peek of what really happened down there. The unit got its notorious reputation due to the experiments including disease injections, controlled dehydration, hyperbaric chamber experiments, biological weapons testing, vivisection, amputation, and weapons testing. The test subjects were usually criminals, poor locals, and captives who signed consent forms for a small payment. One of the most horrific tales included the Russian mother and daughter who were placed inside a thick glass chamber 
and had poisonous gas released inside. A man was also cut vertically into two pieces and pickled in a six-foot glass jar with chemicals. Some women were impregnated against their will to study the effects of disease progression during pregnancy. Newborn fetuses were also test subjects. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. See you guys next time.